Hi everyone, this is The Focus Spender. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about financial goal setting, why it's so important, how you can set a financial goal, and your action plan going forward. So a few months ago I did a workshop with some young adults and we were talking about financial goals and I asked them what their goals were. And I heard answers like, well, I just want to make a lot of money, I want to never have to worry about money again, I want to be rich. Um, and I asked them, well, what does that actually mean? Like, how will you know that you've reached those goals? And honestly, they were um, hard pressed to give me an answer because those were very, very vague goals. In my mind, that wasn't even, those weren't even goals. Were, those were wishes. Those were just dreams that they had. They weren't able to say, well, if I had this amount of money in the bank, that means I'm rich. Or if I had this amount of money, that means I'll never have to worry about money again. So what I really wanted them to think about was what um, what dollar amount will they need to have reached reach their goals. So when you're thinking about financial goal settings, you need to make the goals smart. You need to make them specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. So a smart goal could be, depending on your income, that you want to have twenty thousand dollars saved for a down payment for a house um, within the next you know, 12 months or in the, within the next 18 months. And so using that information, um, you can say, well, if I need to have you know, $20,000 by that time, I need to save um, X amount of dollars every single month and I get paid twice a month. So from each paycheck, I need to save this amount of money and then um, based on my current spending, I'm not going to be able to do that. So looking at my current spending, this is what I need to cut out in order to save that much money. Or based on my current income, I'm either going to have to take a part-time job, I'm going to have to find some type of side hustle, or I'm just going to need to uh, find a better job so that I can make more money, so that I can save this amount of money per month, so that I can save this amount of money within the next you know, 18 months, so that I can have my $20,000 down payment for a house. Um, another way you can think of financial goal setting is um, when you're thinking about getting out of debt. A lot of people say, I just want to be debt free. I just don't want to have, you know, as much student loans as I have. I don't want to have this credit card debt. But a lot of times people can't even quantify how much debt they have because their head is so buried in the sand about what that number is because it scares them. So in order to come up with your goal for getting out of debt, the first thing you really need to do is figure out how much debt you have so that you can count it up and say, okay, here is my number. Um, if, I, if I want to get rid of this debt in the next X amount of time, this is how much money, again, that I need to pay off every single month. This is how much money I'm going to need to save from my paycheck so that I can have, ha I can have it every single month. Again, that might mean getting an extra job, getting a side hustle, finding a better job. Another thing you want to think about when you are setting your financial goals is to think about the why. Why is it that you have that goal? Without that information, your brain is like, um, well, yeah, you want to be rich, but what is it that you need to be rich for? Maybe you don't need to be rich. Maybe you're happy with how much money you have. So you have to think, okay, it, it may not be as simple as I just want to have a lot of money. It may be like, I want to have this salary I want to have this amount of money saved because I want to be able to send my child to private school or I want to be able to travel um, twice a year. I want to be able to buy my mother, you know, a new car. I want like you have to think about what it is that you're doing and why, because honestly, that really keeps you motivated. When I was in my early 20s, I really wanted to move out of my grandmother's basement. I love my family. I love the home cooked meals that I was receiving every single day, but I really needed my personal space. And I knew that I needed to save $5,000 in order to do so. So once I got clear on that number $5,000 and I sat back and assessed um, my financial habits, I was very it was very easy for me to um, reach that goal of saving that money because I looked at my spending I saw that I was spending more money than I made every single month on Randomness literally every time I got paid I went shopping. I was like, oh, I need new clothes. So 
I'm gonna buy new clothes. I was buying lunch all the time, I was buying breakfast, I was just doing things that didn't make any sense. So once, like I said, once I had that goal and I sat back and reassessed, it was so easy to hit that number within the six months that I wanted to hit it. And I was actually able to save, it took me a lot longer to move out because there were no apartments. Um, I was actually able to save about $13,000 in 18 months and I was only making $24,000 a year. So I wasn't making a lot of money, but I was able to save, you know, almost half my income in a relatively short amount of time. So really, when you're thinking about goal setting, you really have to give yourself, you really have to give yourself um, the why. You need to be able to you need your your brain needs something to hold on to basically if you're just saying i want to save a lot of money just because so and so has a lot of money your brain is like well i don't really need you don't really need to do that you can you can spend that money you don't need to save you need to you don't need to do x y and z but when you have like something concrete that you're reaching for your brain is giving you that constant reminder like do you really need to buy that do you really need to do this or do you really want to reach your goals so there you have it that was my quick little um, spiel on financial goal setting and why it's so important. If you like this video, make sure to click like. Um, if you want more videos, click on subscribe so that you never miss a, a video from me. And if you have a comment, please comment below. Um, as always, you can find me on Instagram at Focus Spender, and you can also visit my, my website www.focusfender.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.